North Carolina, have awful plans for it. A large group of people pooled their money together to buy the former Days Inn in North Carolina to use their rooms with a specific plan in mind. Although the sale is complete and there's nothing anyone can do about it now, residents are rightfully irate that this is taking place. When the Islamic Association of Central North Carolina found out that the Days Inn in their town of Ashboro was going to be hitting the real estate market, they immediately got to work raising funds to foot the big bill. The property was appraised at a whopping $1.9 million, but Muhammad Delai, a spokesman for the association, said they negotiated the purchased price down to $600,000. That's a small price to pay when their cause is getting bankrolled by other Muslims with plans for Islam to be ever-present in the southern city, which seems to be working out better than they had hoped. The group already has a mosque a few streets over but they have outgrown that space with their constantly increasing congregation, which is also a growing problem for residents who don't want their religion taking over the town, but now they have more to worry about. As of September 4, the keys to the motel have been in Muslim hands, and they're getting to work on the next phase of their infiltration. Under the guise that they just want to contribute to this community, according to what Alai told Fox 8 in July when the purchase began to percolate, the Islamic Association says that they will convert the building into a Muslim school, an interfaith meeting space, and a food pantry. The extra rooms and beds will also serve as a homeless shelter which they said will be open to all who need a place to sleep. It sounds like a generous thing to do to help the community, but on their fundraising site for the cause, they mostly announce the purpose of the building being dedicated to teaching their sacred science, the Courier-Tribune reported. But something tells me that this 137-room Muslim Mecca, which also has an 11,000-square-foot meeting hall, will become a convenient refuge for Muslim immigrants to come and stay, and perpetuate the growth of Islam in this area and beyond. The association, which undoubtedly has ulterior motives, may use the venue to feed people more than just canned goods in hopes of converting them. The fact that the group was able to fund this purchase so quickly and that the population of people attending the mosque has ballooned, says something we should all be concerned about. People are converting and or coming into this country at an alarming rate, and centers like this become breeding grounds for radicalizing members. Whether that's the initial intention or not, it's bound to happen when enough people gather on a common religious ground based in hate. But the mayor in the town doesn't see a problem with it and is probably just happy that the eyesore sold. It's not our job to police who purchases properties, he told Fox 8 in response to the outrage from concerned citizens in his city. Once these Muslims get done with this building and fill it full of all their bad intentions that look innocent from the outside, Ashboro residents will wish for a return to the time this day's inn was just a seedy motel. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.